Today we'll be talking about the Aristotelian argument. What is the Aristotelian argument? The Aristotelian or classical argument is a style of argument developed by the famous Greek philosopher and rhetorician Aristotle. In this style of argument, the writer's goal is to be convincing and to persuade your audience to your side of the issue through a series of strategies. Did you know, the Aristotelian argument is the framework upon which most academic, thesis-driven writing is based. Now we'll be talking about the six elements of the Aristotelian model. The first one is the introduction. Capture the audience's attention. Introduce the issue and create exigence for the claim. Why is this an issue? Why do we need to pay attention? For example, the National Football League neglects the needs of its players in the event of a concussion. Imagine if it were your child on the field playing with a concussion. Next, we have the statement of background. Supply the context needed to understand the case you present. What circumstances, occurrences, or conditions do we need to be made aware of? For example, stop antagonizing your brother. He had a tough day at school, which is background information. Number three is the proposition. State your proposition based on information that you have presented and outline major points that will follow. The proposition divides the background information from the reasoning. For example, I have been working with retired NFL players whose concussions have drastically affected long after retirement. One man could barely have a conversation with me because of all the injuries to his brain. As number four, we have proof. Present your reasons, subclaims, and evidence. Establish inference between claim and support. Provide additional evidence for subclaims and evidence where necessary. Explain and justify assumptions. For example, this is the third time that you have brought this up in the last 15 minutes. He is crying on the floor. He knows that you have beat the game. You're just being mean. This is an example of proof. The fifth element is refutation. Anticipate and refute opposing arguments. In this section, you demonstrate that you have already considered the issue thoroughly and have reached the only reasonable conclusion. For example, I know that he's a little annoying sometimes and he gets in your nerves by talking about video games, but you have to set a good example for him. Concession and counter argument. Number six, we have conclusion. Summarize the most important points. Make a final appeal to values, motivations, and feelings that are likely to encourage the audience to identify with your argument. For example, concussions in the NFL are negatively affecting many players and some changes have to be made. Supporting this cause is the only solution to this problem. When should I use the Aristotelian argument? You should use it for a more, more direct approach to establish power and when the audience already respects you. The three modes of persuasion, according to Aristotle, are ethos, which stands for credibility, pathos, which stands for emotions, and logos, which stands for logic. The most important thing to remember when writing a classical or, or Aristotelian argument is to think about how you're going to be convincing to your audience. Here we have a sample essay which uses the Aristotelian model. Thank you for your attention.